The one important question that everyone is asking themselves, obviously, is what did Brexit change concretely for British companies trading with Europe? Charles. So from Unsworth as the customs broker and freight partner perspective, Brexit added a lot more paperwork, a lot more uh, extra steps in the process, and ultimately and unfortunately, a lot more cost. Things are now in 2022 a lot more positive. We're starting to see uh, businesses trading up uh, versus their pre-Brexit levels, which is very reassuring to see. However, the burden still stays with us, but people now really do understand the process. Luke from the Food and Drink Federation has his view on the food sector, who probably have been hit the worst in terms of additional paperwork and checks that are required. Thanks, Charles. Luke, what did Brexit change for your members? Yes, yeah, so Brexit's been a huge change in the food and drink exporting space, um, arguably bigger than any other sector that's been impacted by Brexit. So uh, you used to be able to send a bit of British cheese to Paris as easy as you could to Manchester. Now you're sending it to a different customs jurisdiction. And what that means at the practical level is, you need, so if you're exporting that bit of cheese to Paris, Music you would have to make sure you have the customs imagine. documentation in place. You make sure you meet the criteria to be able to avoid any duties. And you also have to meet the sanitary and phytosanitary control Controls. And what that entails is you have a bit of uh, paperwork to that tests and is signed by a UK vet that meets the EU's health requirements. And then you go for a control at the border where your document will be checked. You'll have an ID check on the lorry and you potentially might have a physical check which it pulls everything off the lorry. And what that has meant at the overall level as uh, we think in 2021 compared to pre-Brexit levels, uh, food and drink exports dropped by about 20%. Um, but I think now 2022 needs to be the year of making sure that we've adjusted properly and kind of where we can streamline and make things better to continue growing our exports to the EU because uh, whilst we've left the EU, the EU's not going anywhere. Thanks, Luke. So as you heard, Brexit created a whole new set of constraints for British companies trading with Europe. But these constraints are not insurmountable. They're really just a matter of organisation. And what we also need to bear in mind is Brexit is now behind us. It is time to create a new commercial and economic relationship between the UK and France and Europe. And this is exactly what organizations like Nord France Invest, the investment promotion agency for the Eau de France region in the north of France, is looking to achieve. Really providing you with the right assistance and help to help you make, your, make a success of your projects in Europe.